What's up, good people? What's going on? What's happening? We are back with another fun episode. Yeah, super fun. This super time. fun episode. Yeah. We talked about Prairie Avenue and the Glesson House mm -hmm. so many times in this journey, but we've never been inside. Inside. Yeah. And guess what? Today we're going inside. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go inside today, but also. We have our uh, favorite guest back here, uh, Jeffrey Bear from WTTW's. Yeah, buddy. Many different things, but all, uh, of, them. all of them. But uh, most beautiful places in Chicago. Go back and check out that episode. Mm -hmm. But today, or at the time of this release, it's already out. Yep. But most beautiful places in Chicago Park Two. is out. So let's go inside, check out Glazen House, and talk to our boy and catch up with him. Let's get it. You think he'll like that we call them our boy? He is our boy. You've been on the episode twice. You're our boy now. Okay. All right, let's get it. We are inside the Glessner House. Which it's it's our first time inside the Glessner House, and this place is beautiful. <laughs> so it is absolutely beautiful, and uh, we are here with again Jeffrey Bear. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. Oh my gosh, it's my honor to be yeah. back. Yo, it's it's my honor. Stop it. Have we... <laughs> here we go again with this. <laughs> no, but how you been? How's things been since uh, last time we talked? Yeah, we were at uh, Sears. Yeah, Tower. look at Sears Tower. <laughs> Uh, fine. It's been yeah. great. Yeah. It's been yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Season one, success. Oh, yeah. Um, so we did a uh, this program, The Most Beautiful Places in Chicago, debuted in March. And I, I got to say, I can't remember a show that I've done in the many recent years that has had the kind of immediate response yeah. that yeah. this show had. Yeah. So I just heard so much res positive response from yeah. the public about yeah. this show I was kind of like taken aback by yeah. and I, I really love that because it's such a refreshing thing to see something so positive mm -hmm. be done about Chicago mm -hmm. and there's so much beautiful I don't know how you picked the yeah. first the yeah. set of locations let alone get to see the two right yeah. no because there's so much yeah. like there's so many beautiful places yeah. that um that you covered in the first season and I'm really excited about the second one yeah uh, yeah super I honestly the before we get to the second one, right? Before we get to the second one, uh, season one was good. We're inside the Glesson House. I, I, you've you've been here <laughs> many times. <laughs> you've been here. Yeah. Um, if you all don't know, Jeffrey Bear has a pretty dope history. We'll let him tell it about the Glesson House. You kind of got to start here, right? I kind of did. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. actually, you know, I haven't thought about it that way, but you're you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, the Glesson House. I was just gonna. Check this. I'm going to check it right now. 1886 or 1887? It's 87. 87. Yeah. 1887. All right. 1887. So the Glessner House was uh, built in 1887. Mm -hmm. It's at um, 18th Street and Prairie Avenue, mm -hmm. which is now considered the South Loop. Yeah. yeah. And um, this was the Gold Coast of Chicago right. in the late, well, in 1887. Yep. Um, and it was called the Sunny Street of the Sifted Few. Um, so anyway, so this is a mansion, a yeah. very revolutionary mansion yeah. that was designed by an architect named H.H. H. Richardson. Kind of scandalized the neighbors because it didn't look like a Victorian yeah. Yeah. mansion. They yeah. were like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Looked like um, a castle. <laughs> right, it looks like a stone <laughs> yeah. fortress. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the outside, not yeah. what we're saying. Not, right, not right. here, it's beautiful in here. Um, and then my history is that um, I uh, I'm a docent, I'm a tour guide for the Chicago, what used to be called the Chicago Architecture Foundation, now it's called the Chicago Architecture Center. And mm -hmm. back when I did my docent training in 1987, uh, so that is wow. 100, 100 years, years after, after this house yeah. was built, wow. and uh, I mean, what would that be, 34, 35 years ago, yeah. um, this house was part of the Chicago Architecture Foundation, mm -hmm. and this is where we did our training yeah. to become docents, tour wow. guides. I mean, all, what I do now is the river tour. It's, yeah. I, I've yeah. Beautiful tra tour. trained to do many other tours, yeah. right. but I've kind of, you know, because of uh, just time commitment and everything, yeah. all I do anymore is the river tour. Yeah. But um, when you 
took Dosen training back in 1987 when yep, I did yep. it. You, you trained in this house and then you were required for your first year of being a docent to give tours of this house wow. and of the historic Clark House next door, which is arguably the oldest house in Chicago. There's a conflicting right. claim, but we'll get to that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Actually, not. I want to I ask you about <laughs> yeah. that. Go, Bikini. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, we would give tours of this house and that house, and then also I would give like the loop walking tours. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you had to do a lot of those tours your first year uh, as a docent to qualify to be a, a permanent docent, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so it wasn't until the next year, I think, that I learned the river tour. Mm -hmm. So that would have been like 88 or something that I learned the river tour. But I've given dozens of tours of this house, but it was 35 years ago. Yeah. So I was going to say, do you remember any of it? Yeah. I remember a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I couldn't give a tour of this house. Yeah, right now. Now. <laughs> and the house has been so much more uh, fully Decorated. restored. Yeah. yeah. $5 million they put into this. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm not up to date yeah. on all. Yeah. That, but yeah. Uh, yeah, the house. So what, what happened, like when I was, you know, where we are right now yeah. mm -hmm. is like, bustling South Loop. I mean, there are right. like yeah. condo buildings and yeah. loft rehabs and yeah. clubs and bars and restaurants and cars. When I was starting docent training here 35 years ago, there was nothing. Nothing down here. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. I mean, I didn't even, I, I never even heard of this area. And wow. when I was driving down here, you know, from the Loop, I mean, it was just empty lots and wow. abandoned um, old warehouse buildings. Motorola. Yeah, mo yeah. <laughs> and what? Motorola. Motorola, Motorola yeah. which yeah. was all abandoned. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, and then sort of off in that way over there was McCormick Place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Calumet, I, my memory is that Calumet Avenue over here, a couple of blocks over yep. here, was like a gravel road. Oh, you know? wow. Because this was all just like industrial yep. and kind of forgotten yeah. area you know it had been the gold coast yep. and then it the the sort of this the the sort of um filthy dark side of the city started encroaching yeah. on this we're talking in like the late 1800s early 1900s mm -hmm. so yeah. there was a vice district over there yep. called uh the levy oh. so you had like a lot of 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 uh, prostitution yeah. and wow. you had um you know bars and gambling old and, school yeah and saloon then, style saloons yeah. <laughs> and then right over there was the illinois central railroad and those were were like coal powered uh yeah. coal fired train engines yeah. so you had oh, soot yeah. and dirt and and so you know there was this mass exodus mm -hmm. um led by potter palmer and yeah. his wife uh to what is now the Gold Coast. Yeah. The Glessners hung on. They hung on for, till they died, wow. you know, for wow. decades. Yeah. Yeah. As the whole neighborhood, you know, most of these houses, if they survive, were mm -hmm. cut up into boarding houses yeah. and um, um, probably a lot of prostitution and stuff. <laughs> and um, a lot, and a lot of them were, were torn down. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and a lot like a, a, what was right over that way when I started being a docent here was like a tire warehouse. You can't even imagine that yeah. in this neighborhood wow. now. Yeah, you know? no, no. Like a Duxler tire warehouse or something. <laughs> not Duxler, some kind of some kind of like Goodyear tire yeah. or something. You know, um, this the church that had been the Glessner's church, mm. the Second Presbyterian, Second, yeah. Yeah, sorry, was they had like twelve members mm -hmm. or yeah. something. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. And, and with you know Tiffany windows and everything. Yeah. Right. They, they had like you know and the paint was falling off the walls, and. Um, but you know this house was donated, and then this house became like a uh, an industrial building. This really? room was it was used by that I can't remember if it was the Illinois Institute of Technology or UIC, but wow. it was used as like a a kind of a laboratory building. There were like uh, really or printing or something like that. Printing technology. There were there were just like fluorescent lights hanging by the ceiling. No, all, there wasn't all over the house, and and you know. It was just basically a wreck. It was a dark wow. room. Yeah. It was a big dark room. Yeah. <laughs> for, and then the Chicago Architecture Foundation was founded to save this house. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's so um, they bought it. They made, they found, they bought it, they saved it. Uh, and um, just little by little over the decades, um, one of the things that makes this house really unusual yeah. uh, is that the Glessner's descendants still had all their furniture. Yeah, so little by little, they've been 
returning the furniture, even things like like the tiles around some of the fireplaces in the other rooms had been taken down and sent to other relatives and and and, and some of that was sent back. Wow. I mean, all this. Uh, how do they get that back? How do they get like? How do you get it off? Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, they've just been over the decades um, bringing it all back. Yeah. I guess this is still such a, you know, we were talking to Bill and it's a Bill Tyre who's the director and coordinator of events here and things. He was saying that, you know, the love for this house if, if a, the Glasners were to walk back in today, it would almost look as yes. if, yeah. you know, that's amazing. Yeah, he, he mentioned that their their son was a great photographer and right. yeah. he had taken pictures of all the rooms. And so even the the placement of the photos right. is the same. That's wild. Yeah, that's, that's amazing to me. This is, so we, this is our first time being inside of the Glasson house. We wanted to be here so yeah. many times and so I'm glad we're here. But we've oftentimes said that one of our favorite places has been Bronzeville because they see you got so many old uh, Bronzeville and uh, Pullman because you got so many. Of the you can old, step into history. You can step into the history, and I we love that. We love that you can step there. Jane mm -hmm. Adams, uh, the whole house. You can mm -hmm. step there. Being here yeah. <laughs> with the stuff, and you know that it's original. This might be the coolest. It's kind of amazing. It, yeah. it, it, it's yeah. it's one of the most beautiful places in yeah. Chicago. <laughs> And it's in the second show. It's yeah. in the sequel that we're right. releasing. Right. Uh, that that or that I guess by now has been released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it Glessner House is is featured in the show today and, and going forward. It's, it's out now. The best, most beautiful places in Chicago. Two. Two. Yes, creatively titled sequel. The most, sequel, yeah. <laughs> the most beautiful place in Chicago. Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, that I mean, it works. Yeah. If, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, two. right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so the first one, you know, we had this huge response, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we knew that, uh, you know, there there would be interest in yeah. more beautiful places. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, your question earlier, like, how could we pick the most beautiful yeah. places? Yeah. The, the first one was called The Most Beautiful Places yeah. in Chicago, intentionally provocative title. Yeah. Yeah. Like, could these Grab. really be yeah. the most beautiful right. places? Of course they couldn't, they, we couldn't fit them all in one show. Yeah. So, um, Didn't you know, know you can clickbait TV. That's, <laughs> that, is, that is the best That's clickbait. Awesome. <laughs> Public television clickbait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how that works. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. It, it worked. worked. Yeah, it right. worked. I got you. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. So we've we've uh, we've gone out and uh, included more. Man, that's so awesome. so. What is in this round? You know, what are some of what are people going to see? What can they expect this time? So the show, like the first one, is in kind of three acts, mm -hmm. and um, this one there is a certain um, theme to each act. I mm -hmm. would say it's not. We don't like put a you know words on the screen right. like yeah. saying this is the theme but um the first act um is kind of about um amazing art on the walls mm. I mean, let's just say mm. that okay. so you have like these incredible tiffany mosaics and domes mm. in the cultural center um you know and then looking around the city at at, at buildings that have amazing ornament um, murals, like amazing murals in the city, and this beautiful mosaic that's a Native American, created by Native American artists under an underpass on Lakeshore Drive. Oh, wow. You know, like twinkly, sparkly yeah. mosaic. Oh, oh we've yeah, seen yeah, it. We've yeah, seen yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So, it's really so cool. are, wow. are all. Are, all the places that you mention on the show accessible for the public. So like once they watch, can they go visit these places? Almost all. Okay. So then the second act okay. is homes. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Like kind of like architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two of them are not accessible to the public. Mm -hmm. um, so the we have Glessner House where we are now yep. and that's in the show. Um, and then um, this insane, I, 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 he doesn't like, people to call it insane so <laughs> let's not call it insane. it's this wildly creative house mm -hmm. in aurora called the ruth van sickle ford house it's basically okay. like a dome that mm -hmm. was created by a self-taught architect and made uh -oh. from like salvaged materials it's a <laughs> it, anyone who studies architecture studies this house i mean wow. it's it's wow. a self-taught kind of amazing <laughs> like creative uh, mm -hmm. expression and then, a, which is not open to the public, okay. it's a private residence. Okay. Uh, and then in Old Town, there's a house by an, um, a, created by this um, beyond belief art, artist, sort of artist architect named Edgar Miller, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
not Glessner, Glasner. It's called yeah. the Glasner oh, wow. Studio. <laughs> okay. So that's a little confusing. Yeah. But it's an old town. And this artist was this just sort of polymath artist who he did hand-carved wood, plaster relief, a ceramic tile, stained wow. glass. Wow. I mean, it's just this like... All the art. Person's yeah. like... Just I, it's like imagination just went creative crazy. expression yeah. like yeah. everywhere you look. Yeah. Wow. And then um, so the, so those two houses are not open to the public. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, it ends with um, the uh, Chicago Vocational School, which okay. is down by mm -hmm. the Skyway, mm -hmm. which has this like heroic like Greek uh, columned entrance, um, and it's you know sending a message to people who yeah. were the, going there for vocational training right. you know that that we value you and and the trades you're going to learn are important and yeah. that kind right. of thing. so buildings in the second act and then the third act is really nature mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. all you know just yeah. a real yeah. sort of broad brush of of the beautiful parks and yeah. the history of all the the important history of the right. parks right. in right. chicago um, from the you know the great Frederick Law Olmsted who designed mm -hmm. uh, and Calvert Vox who yeah. designed Central Park in New York and so right. they do like the big showpiece parks like Jackson Park right. Washington Park Midway Plaisance um, the Plaisance. next generation being Jens Jensen who sort of taught us that native plants are beautiful people used mm -hmm. to think they were weeds mm -hmm. you know and he was like no that this is you know we right. should celebrate our yeah. own native yeah. ty type of of um, plants, yeah, yeah. and uh, and then his protege um, Alfred Caldwell, uh, particularly the stunning lily pool. That's yeah. uh, I next. love yeah, yeah, that one. Love yeah, it's so beautiful. We forgot to take pictures there this year. Oh, so yeah, can you <laughs> yes, imagine? I know. Yeah. And then we go all the way to Millennium Park, but we yeah. also take a side trip to the with this photographer who goes up to the top of like the Hancock Building and the Sears Tower and, and on bad weather days. Mm -hmm. oh. And he shoots these incredible photographs of all the skyscrapers poking up above the clouds. The clouds. Oh, you know, wow. Is that Barry Butler? <laughs> it's not Barry Butler. <laughs> it's Peter Sai. His name is Peter Sai. <laughs> okay. T-S-A-I. Okay. Yeah. What's up, Peter? <laughs> yeah. They're amazing. His photo his photography is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's awesome. Oh, wow. I'm sure I've probably seen it on yeah. my page somehow. Yeah. yeah. I love those. You should things. interview him. He Okay, he, Peter. Yeah, okay, Peter. <laughs> yeah. His like, email be like Jeffrey yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just sending this clip. <laughs> yeah. No, he'd be good. Just DM it to him. Yeah. 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 Um and but but the very much like the first show, I think you know, my show started out. 25, 30 years ago as just tours, like me giving you a tour. Yeah. I love it. Um, I know. But I was the only person who talked, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm just giving you a tour. Yeah. And they've evolved over the years into shows more where I go out and really engage with people yeah. and yeah. learn their yeah. stories. Yeah. And I think more than any show I've ever done, that last one, the first show mm -hmm. of these two, mm -hmm. the most beautiful places yeah. in Chicago, had so much heart. And I think, you know, largely credit to the producer, Bridget Sarno, who worked with Oprah and everything and came in and worked with me on that show. And, and, and I think we really worked to get the people yeah. and their stories. And, and that's certainly also a hallmark of this show. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, you, you, you meet these people who really are so invested in the work, the creativity. Right, you know, Gunny right. Harbo, who yeah. restored the uh, the G the one of the rooms in the two of the rooms, the Cultural Center, um, these Native American artists who did the mosaic under Lakeshore Drive, mm -hmm. um, the owner of that 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 wild domed house in Aurora, uh, uh, Sid Robinson. Yeah. This amazing, I mean, one of the most amazing people I've ever interviewed is wow. a young woman named Deja Perkins, okay. who is a um, naturalist. Mm -hmm. She's very young. She's a PhD student, I think now. Oh, wow. um, and she was raised in the city. She's African American, and she she says, "Well, I didn't know nature existed when I was being raised in the city." Wow. Yeah, it, and it makes sense. And historically, mm -hmm. she she says she's unapologetically black in nature. Yeah. She she wow. feels that um, people of color have not always mm -hmm. felt welcome. No. Or safe, right? Uh, in nature, right. right? And so she took us. She she takes people out bird birding. Oh wow! And um, and I went bird watching with her in this little group of of um, 
you know, very diverse group of, of people of color. Yeah. Um, and they talk about, you know, um, the power of, of nature and that there is nature in the city yeah. and that, that um, they, they, they're entitled to be there too. Yeah. Right, right. You know, There's a mean, space for them. Right. Yeah. 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 And she, she was... She was just wonderful. She was amazing. And okay. Dill is in the yeah. show. I can't and wait to watch. Lee Bay is in the show. Yeah. And yeah. And it's, a, it's, a, awesome. it's amazing. I do like the progression and change. And, yeah. You know, coming from somebody that's watched you <laughs> as long as I can remember, and, you know, to see how these are more personal. Again, look, here we are right now. Our whole being is, you know, we can research the history all we want to, but it's dope to hear it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. dope to hear it and, and talk to the people and you tell it, you know, and we're still learning. We're students of the game. So, well, that's what I, I feel yeah. like with every one of these shows. Yeah. I'm just learning all. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, why, why not stop yeah. that? And I mean, yes, the physical beauty of Chicago is abundant, but I feel like the, the people and their stories we, is we really make what makes it. Yeah. 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 That we're, is exactly how I have been thinking about the show yeah. is that it, the first show I think was, um, uh, you know, unquestionably, stunningly, visually right. beautiful. And there's plenty of that in this show. Mm -hmm. But it's the beauty, I think, really comes out mm -hmm. of the people that we yeah. interview. Yeah. 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 Um, made me cry. Let's <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so when, so we know people can watch it. Where can they watch it? Well, you can watch it anywhere, anytime. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the... Uh, there we we um, you can stream it mm -hmm. on. Um, there's a thing called the PBS app, mm -hmm. and uh, you can find that on any you know smart TV yep. or uh, we'll link you know, it to the yeah notes Roku of this episode. or yep. Apple TV. Yep. You just look for the PBS app, and mm -hmm. then um, you know you can download. Or you can you can just stream the shows there, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have this. All of our shows have these amazing websites mm -hmm. um, that go along with them. The one for this show is wttw.com slash beautiful places which has both shows both shows and oh, nice. folded okay. in um and actually there's a there's special features and in in this uh website we have a special feature about birding in chicago oh, and birds wow. and the different kinds of birds you can see in chicago which i had no idea yeah we, we did not know right <laughs> yeah i mean it's pretty amazing yeah. when i when i saw what the web team did wow uh to uh you know, I'm like, really? That you can see that in Chicago? Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> um, I mean, amazing. Deja Perkins knows that. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, right. And she was so amazing. Like we were out there in the, it was we were interviewing her on the, um, it's called the Bobolink Meadow down in Jackson Park. It's, yeah. a, it's actually not what Olmsted would have designed mm -hmm. in Jackson Park. It's mm -hmm. new and it's a prairie. Yeah. And she's like, in the middle of talking to me, and she's like, oh, there's a catbird. And she's like, you know, I'm like, you you could tell, I'm you know, like, that's a bird bird. Birds. That's just a bird bird. Yeah. So, that's yeah. Amazing. but yeah, so you can also watch the show um, on the website, wttw.com slash beautiful places. You can stream it. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch it on your computer, you know, any, yeah. anytime, anywhere. Y'all go ahead, you know, just watch it. <laughs> just just yeah, watch it. I can't wait. It's, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's out now. Um. I know we are letting this one, this just came out, um, and we're going to let this marinate, but any any plans for the future? you got to make a trilogy now. You can't just do oh, that. You know? <laughs> well, I don't know. We're on to the next. Okay. Uh, we're doing a show called Chicago Mysteries. Oh, Ooh. okay. Okay. Which yeah. is really, really fun. Is it like spooky mysteries? Some or of like... them. Okay. There's uh, the devil baby that haunts Hull House. Devil baby. Oh, we heard you, about that. Yeah, well, the devil I must baby. say, the devil baby. Oh, well, man. I can come back and talk about all this. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's um, the Adolf Lutgert. Uh, this was the Sausage King of Chicago. Mm. And he, his wife disappeared. Oh, boy. She and was her body sausage. Was, sausage. Her body was never found. She's a sausage. And Somebody sales, all sales of sausages declined in <laughs> Chicago <laughs> after that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, no. And then her ghost is said to haunt that. So, and, and the... It was thought that the factory, it's down, it's over on diversity. It was thought that the oh. factory had burned down, but we mm. discovered it's a condo building now. <gasps> and they let us into the basement. And so we, we did yeah, the interview yeah, in the yeah. basement and then we took a ghost hunter down in the basement. And did, did, okay, don't tell us anymore. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. UFO at O'Hare. There was a UFO what? sighted above the United Airlines gate C C-17 in uh, not so long ago. And 
totally denied by the FAA and by the airline. We, uh, but the reporter from the Tribune, John Hilkovich, did a Freedom of Information Act request and got the air traffic control tapes. And they are talking about it, <gasps> uh, the air traffic control tapes. Like the, oh. the, it's not air traffic control, it's like ground control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like all saying, did you see that? You know, uh, where where is it? It's over C-17. I mean, 17. we know aliens are real now, so like- Yeah, yeah, no they admit it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, well, it's well, gonna be a fun show. Yeah, 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 yeah I can't yeah, wait. Oh my yeah, god, that sounds yeah, yeah. awesome. Most beautiful place yeah. in Chicago. That's what we're here for. But yes. like that is <laughs> that's coming in uh, April of 20, 2024. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be there for it. Yeah. Uh, as always, Jeffrey Bear, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank Honestly, you so much. this is this is now it's a tradition now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm there. <laughs> I'm tradition. there. Yeah. Any new show release, just let us know. We'll yeah. be here. Always we'll be here. This is interesting stuff. Yeah. We well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yep. We just finished the, the uh, conversation and tour. Yeah. So first off, shout out to uh, Jeffrey Bear. Congrats on another dope show. Uh, so y'all go check that out. Make sure you do it. It's yeah. out right now. WTTW. You can also go check it out online if you are yep. not here in the Chicago area. Right. You can we, stream it. Yeah. Like Jeffrey said. All the links. All the links down below. Um, so make sure y'all do that. But also, the Glessner house is nuts. Shout out to Bill. Shout out to Bill. Going crazy. Just... Yeah, Man. so it, you might not know, we probably didn't talk about Bill much in right. our conversation with Jeffrey, right. but um, he he's donated a ton to the house. <laughs> he has helped decorate the house. He has worked on a ton of restoration projects with the house. That he man. walked us through the entire home. We did a one hour tour, just the two of us. What's it was crazy is not only did he donate, but he really got the stuff, brought it back himself, yeah. bought some of it himself. Yeah. And, and put it up in here and redecorated things to look like original. Yeah, so if you don't know about the house, it looks like the way it did originally mm -hmm. um, because this, like we mentioned, the son took a ton of pictures. Yeah. And so they know exactly what it looked like. And shout out to uh, Ms. Glessner for documenting a lot of things. Yeah, she had journals and um, even John, her husband, you know, wrote everything down. Mm -hmm. There's a, he, he wrote down the history of the house and so, yeah. It's documented, even the names of the servants yeah. and how much they were paid and when they were hired. Super and dope. All of it. You get to see they have a recipe book on display yeah. of what she would Menu have made card. from eighteen what ninety five. Eighteen ninety. So right now it is it's decorated Christmas. for Christmas. Yeah. So you can actually come and tour it, and it, it looked like the way it would have looked for Christmas. There's a tree and everything, but the menu card is from eighteen ninety five Christmas dinner, and it is actually what they served that Christmas dinner. Unreal. The kitchen is set up as if it's serving that Christmas dinner. It is gorgeous. If you mind blowing, this is literally one of the most beautiful places it is, in, for Chicago. Real, for so, real. In, in Chicago. So, and if you know, if you know the history, I mean, we've talked about it. It was like a mm -hmm. controversy yeah. that this house was built on this block. No looked, one wanted it yeah, here because they looked ugly from the outside. Right. Which I mean, it's not ugly. It's not ugly from. The, it I looks mean, like an Irish castle. It does. It but, doesn't fit in with the aesthetic of the rest of the building. Exactly. I mean, but it's not well, ugly. Once you go inside that bad boy. <laughs> It is definitely gilded. Gilded, yeah. And so. if you like the Gilded Age, if you like, you know, Downton Abbey, that kind of stuff, this is like stepping into that time. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So go check out the Glass House. Go check out uh, Most Beautiful Place in the World. Shout out to Jeff Baird, number two. Um, but right now, we're going to go and uh, eat some dinner. Let's but in the it. meantime, Check out some more of the footage that we have yeah. and just kind of get a feel of this spot, man. As, so, we, as, we, as it becomes nighttime. As it becomes nighttime. <laughs> so let's get it, y'all.
so this is the food portion. Uh huh. Um, the footage of the food might look a little different. <laughs> <laughs> we snagged before we realized we had a job to do. So <laughs> correct. I think that is testament to how good the food was. Yeah, right. Food was snagging. Yeah. We, we we we'll get to it. But yeah. we're at Bargoa mm -hmm. in uh, River North, which is not like a usual spot where we eat. I would say we right. probably eaten at a few restaurants out here, but. Um, this was this was smacking, period. It was this is I don't want to say hidden gem. You know we don't say that. It's not a hidden gem. It's, it's not a Hubbard Street. It's a Hubbard. Yeah, it's not definitely not hidden gem. But <laughs> it ain't talked about. Is what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't, ain't nobody like yo go down to Hubbard Street to eat the food. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, like so, you should though come down to Hubbard Street to eat the food. Yeah. Because I will say it's a little pricey, but you're on Hubbard. I mean Street. we ain't worried about your pockets. Uh, look, yeah. you figure out your finances, we figure out ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about they. they <laughs> yeah. Um, but let's talk about what we ate. So actually, actually, uh, here, can we give them a breakdown of what Goa is? Oh yeah, go ahead. That is a that is a, a country in state? a state in uh, India, and it's what their smallest. Yes, their smallest the state. Smallest state by uh, land size and fourth smallest per capita. Yeah. Um, beachy vibe. Beachy right? vibe. Beachy so vibe. the indoor vibe here is beachy. Yes. People are in. I'm like floral. Yeah, shirts. right. <laughs> so the bar is absolutely beautiful. It's Gorgeous. like blue. There's a ton of LED lights, lighting right. different colors, but the bar itself Look. is blue. It's right. absolutely gorgeous. You got the theme behind the Christmas. This is Christmas, you know, yeah. stuff right here. But like, they got. But it, it's very beachy. I was confused yeah. in the beginning. I was like, Indian beach. Yeah. But uh, then Dario was like, Goa is staying right. on the beach. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. Love it. They, I mean, that's at the bottom. Now, yeah. the food. Now let's talk about the food. Yeah. So we started off with the Goan. Crazy sampler, <laughs> going like G O A N. Yeah, Goa. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and it comes with butter chicken sliders, two butter chicken sliders that have arugula and pickled onions uh, and fried onions on them. And then we had wings. Yep, wings. And fries, peri peri fries. Yep. Uh, and then they come with two different aiolis. One is a habanero and one is a, I want to say recchiato. I don't know how to pronounce I didn't it. I have it's, the other one. It's, a, it's like a, it's a paste that is usually used to like marinate uh, meat and seafood and stuff like that. So it's like ginger and garlic and chili and chili and stuff like that. It's a very good, it's a very yeah. good flavor. Yeah. But, uh, if it's you like good. spicy. Um, Let's start with the, the sliders. Those sliders, I wish we had video of me eating it. Because <laughs> that... That was so good. It was... It, you only get two of them. You know, you know what... It, so you know what milk bread is? Honestly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like buttered milk bread with the butter chicken. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just ridiculous, y'all. Like, this is... It's, it, it took honestly, us 30 seconds to eat to be, Right. To be honest with you, the, the slider, the, the platter is not bad. That's, yeah. that's, that's, not, a, that's not a bad thing. But like you get on there? Like four. Five? You get four wings. four wings. You get four wings. And the wings, speaking of the wings, the yeah. wings was slapping. So the wings are like dry. Yeah. Um, dry rub. Dry like rub. There's no liquidy sauce on right. top of them. There's a bit of an aioli on there, but yeah. it's not like smothered right. wings. Um, they're not super like breaded. They're not breaded at all, right. actually. They're just like fried. Um, and they, they honestly felt super light. Right, it did. I mean, because like you would think that you'd be like, well, where's the flavor come from? It is juicy super inside. Flavorful. So flavorful, y'all. Like honestly. Flavor packed for th sure. This is this is the one. Again, the platter is dope yeah. if you just want to have it for, you know, quick, just get something going. Right. But I would definitely get each one of those by themselves. And I think you can. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, like, and honestly, between the sliders and the wings, yeah. I, I, and their appetizers are their largest section of the menu. I feel like a lot of people come here for, like, happy hour. Yeah, happy hour, party time. You know, bit, like, yeah. just, like, drinks and yeah. appetizers. And yeah. I think their menu is perfect for that. Yeah. yeah like, they, for real. Yeah, it's, it's a ton honestly, of the vibe, options. that's what you want. Yeah. yeah, that's what you want. The music um, is fire. Yeah. 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 Um, but they, they have two. They have two mains, yeah. what they call our mains, which both are rice dishes. One is a prawn and chorizo fried rice, and one's a mushroom fried rice. We didn't have either, but we jumped straight to the Indian curry. Yeah, we had to. And then uh, Dario picked out the Goan shrimp curry, which is jumbo tiger shrimp, Goan, uh, that same sauce, red. Racchiato, yeah. Racchiato, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it had um, me going crazy. Let me—I promise you that. Like, um, so you get like four or five jumbo shrimp. Yeah. In that sauce. Yeah. 
so good. And when I say jumbo shrimp, jumbo. Boy, you get some <laughs> big ass shrimp. Yeah, you get some big ass shrimp. I don't know what that was, but you get the size some. Size of the shrimp. Yeah, right. You yeah. the huge shrimp. They're, yeah, they're big. Shell on, shell, shell on the tail. Tail on, tail on. Tail on. I mean, yeah, tail on. But nothing, nothing you can work, work with. Um, one thing I will say, it was so good. That is fire, y'all. Y'all gonna love it. Honestly, get that. It's spicy. It's spicy. You know, if that's your, if you got a problem with that, um, you gotta get the rice on oh, the yeah. side. Yeah. That's and the thing. It's recommended on the menu that you get the basmati rice with it. Yes. Their basmati rice. When I tell you, each single grain of rice is seen by itself. There's no. Right. There's not a single grain of rice sticking yeah. to the next one. It's about a thousand stars. Yeah. Let me tell you that. It's and very good. It was so good. Super good, fluffy rice. Mm. Um, and, but and, I. Love I love that shrimp. Right, I was about to say, the shrimp was fire. You gotta get the sauce to come with a lot of sauce so you can own the plate, so you can just, you know, put yeah. it on the rice and mix it up. Super easy. Yeah. Next thing we had. Um, so I asked our server for recommendations. He said pretty much everything on the menu is great, but his go-to is butter he chicken. He did not, when I tell you, he didn't flinch. Yeah, he said butter we, chicken. He said butter chicken. It's like he already knew what we were saying. He was saying yeah. butter before we finished, the, put the period on the question mark butter. on the end of it. It was that good. So That's, we got the butter chicken. Man, we had to. And uh, it's recommended to order it with either rice or naan. Since we already got rice, we ordered some naan on the side. Yeah. So um, good. Very good. So good. Yeah. Like, honestly, that was, that was, uh, Ooh, between that and the, sh the shrimp. I prefer the uh, shrimp the, just because the flavors for it were a little different. Yeah. I've had butter chicken a ton before. Right. I've never had that shrimp dish. Yeah, so the shrimp, yeah I've never had the shrimp. So that's I a good, like, that's a good point. And I, we had the butter chicken slider, so I kind of knew what to expect when I went to the butter chicken. I will say, the so what I really like about this place is that the butter chicken ain't so buttery. Yeah, right. Sometimes you go to, you it's get the butter much. chicken and it's just it's too, too much. Too much grease. Yeah, it's there. too much, you know, so. You can see the layer of oil on top, yeah. which I don't like. That it's this not very, was not that, y'all. This was very good. Honestly, yeah. I like this a lot. Super good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then they have like a couple fries. Uh, like I said, we got the garlic naan, which was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Very fluffy. Yeah. Just really, really good. Yeah. They got dope drinks. Didn't get no drink, um, but so so many drinks uh, that to choose from. And yeah. honestly, I feel like they set the vibe of like what we got going on here. You know yeah, what I right, mean? Like what right. they got going on here. Because like you. Honestly, you feel like you want to drink when yeah. you're here because it yeah. just feels like margarita bit almost. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, it, it, it kind of... giving beachy vibes. It did, sure. for real, beachy yeah. vibes. And they do have happy hours. So, like, during the week, there are happy hours from 5 to 6, and on Sunday, it's from 3 to 5. Yeah. And, like, all their appetizers are on uh, the happy hour, happy hour menu. Yeah. And, yeah, they have a ton of... They have a... Indian mango sangria, I feel right. like that would go crazy. Yeah. Honestly, if y'all can come down here, spare your time to get down here, beat the traffic, we got a good parking spot. Like, right, like there's street parking. Street parking. Obviously, depends during, on the during day the week. Of the week. Yeah. During the week, you know. Yeah. It um, depends on the day of the week and like the time a, that you come here, you might have to spot hero. But yeah. It is a Tuesday for us, so Tuesday, we, we made out with it. But, yeah. man, come here. The actually, service was great. Yes. They were so yes. nice to us. You, you know what? I'm, and I say this with, you know, like no disrespect to like Bargoa, but like, I'm actually having fun on Hubbard Street. Like, this I know. is, because if you come down to Hubbard Street, if you're not from Chicago, Hubbard Street is like the hub where everybody, like, the this hub. Is a ton of party. Clubs. It's a club party scene. This is where it all go down for the people from the suburbs and the city. You know what I mean? Like, we come out here and do it. And so it's always a nightmare to try to park down here. But right now, I mean, having a vibe over here, it's super. It's, it's, I don't, we don't hang out down here. No. So this is dope. Like, I think the first time I like to actually have fun. Yeah, I think happy hour is like the perfect time to come out here. Right. Honestly. Yeah. And, and there was a ton of people in here when we was. came in on a Tuesday yeah. during happy hour. Like there was yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. So. Honestly, pretty dope. I actually had a photo shoot uh, earlier this year on across the street. Yeah. At, at, at Celeste across the street. Pretty dope. Um, but yeah, come here. Y'all gotta check it out. I would. Yeah. I would. We would highly recommend it actually to come check it out. And. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Done. So yeah, if you uh, like this episode, <laughs> uh, said it so many like. The best way to support us is to share our content. Like, that's a fact. If you do not like this episode. That's a fact. Hey man, look. If you didn't like it, that's all. Come, I'm come have some butter chicken. You're right. better. <laughs> right. some grass. You know what I'm saying? Here, come look at the blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come look at the blue. <laughs> come look at the blue. <laughs> Peace.